Hey guys, this is a different kind of video for me. I wanted to just film this real quick video. I kind of, I get sometimes interested in these and because this is our first time using Azure Standard, I wanted to uh, let you know what I think about it. Okay, so one, Azure is a bulk tip, like or mainly organic delivery drop place. They are an Oregon company. We live in Oregon. So we actually have a drop in our really small town in the middle of nowhere, which is really convenient. So I have like had a cart going with them for like two years and I still have never pulled the plug. It's a once a month thing. So, and it falls like on an odd time. I grocery shop traditionally like every two weeks and this comes once a month. So you kind of have to, and it's bulk. So you kind of have to set aside and think pro like think ahead so you have you so you budget correctly and then you order it and it doesn't come for another week after you order it so one thing couple things to note is you put in your order your money doesn't come out of your bank account until it ships because some things might be out of stock I had a couple things that were out of stock which was like some toothpaste and some bear wheat berries, a different kind of wheat berries. But I just wanted to show you what I got. I got a smaller order. I think my total was like, it was $310 and five cents. So oh, you're gonna see board games back here. We're going to game night in a little bit. To start you off, I got two giant 50 pound bags of red hard winter wheat. We are really adjusting the way we eat in this family. Don't mind all my eggs, they're getting out of control. I, they're being I'm like in the process between dehydrating. I'm dehydrating a lot of my eggs. We are just like in total overhaul mode of not being wasteful and like throwing out crap that is processed or anything. Like using that in moderation, but really focusing on whole foods and just really eating not only for health, I feel like it's very important to get healthy and to get in better shape and that's what we're doing in this household and I this is what kind of really kicked me in the butt to get Azure because it's so simple because it comes we drive 10 minutes down the road and we have a drop I'm just gonna sit here so first things I showed you the, the wheat berries that is all about it I ended up purchasing a Vitamix which can grind your own flour and we've been making a daily bread if you look at bread ingredients it's a convenience food. So there is a, there's like a bazillion ingredients and the bread we've been making, there's four. So we're just not cutting out like any certain type of foods, but making those foods at home in a whole less processed way is the goal right now. Got some jars. These are gallon jars. Ah! Oh, these are nice. They're thick. We have, we have a dairy cow and currently she's not in milk. This is our first time not milking in you're gonna see my vegetable seeds, all sorts of things around here. Canners, it's wild kitchen. Been making a lot of stuff at home in the last few weeks, uh, which we always did, but it's just more so like making more things, making all the breads, making all the things. So it's been a change. So she's been, this is our first time in a year and a half not having our own raw milk. And I had to buy milk from the store, which um, you can buy milk from Azure. The price of milk is gone up so high <laughs> and I got organic A2 whatever like kind of similar to what would replace our own milk and it was $15 for like two gallons at Costco and that was cheap. Azure is way more expensive for milk but it has an expiration date for June which is like concerning me. I just can't stop thinking about it because that's a, it's March. <laughs> Milk is a, uh, that's a long time. It's ultra pasteurized. Yep, definitely ultra. So I got the jars for when our cow's back in milk. I really like gallon jars. It makes it really super simple to skim the cream. <sighs> if you hear a TV, it's quiet time. We're homeschool family. So we do like a quiet time in midday. So we all get our alone time. And it's when, it's when the children get to watch a show. Okay, so I got some, we already broke into it. We're a big cheese family. And my oldest son has actually like become a really cheese connoisseur. He really likes the cheeses I like, like super aged, super sharp cheddar. I love that. And he loves to try all the cheeses with me. So I got this raw milk cheddar cheese. It's just been aged for 60 days, which it's not too old. It's a softer cheese and it's pretty good. I like it a lot. So 
it's not as sharp as what we would like, but I think for other people in the family, my husband doesn't really love sharp cheese. I think that's perfect. I got raw honey. This is berry wildflower honey. So a lot of the things I got were, they were, it adds up quickly. It's like a small amount of stuff, but because of the quality and the things I bought, like a gallon of raw honey, it was quite, this was like $58, I think, just for this. So it adds up. They had the Nancy's probiotic whole yogurt was on sale and we are not in the milk uh we actually when we're when our cow is in milk one of my friends kathleen she helps in the garden i give her the milk and then she brings me back yogurt it's kind of a nice uh <laughs> it's a nice deal we got going on so uh anyway i've got a knife here from cutting the cheese for all the people Okay, we got some for fruit. Um, they do do bulk, which is I really like. So you can get like bulk pears and apples, which I definitely will utilize that, especially because they get them primarily from orchards around the Pacific Northwest, which is pretty much local for us. In Central Oregon, we can't, there's not like too many orchards. I don't think there's any orchards because it's harder growing season. Anyway, I got blood oranges, which I thought, I have like a half chewed up one over here from a kid that just left it there they're sour I really enjoy them I have one of my friends came up with she has this cocktail recipe that I'll see if I can link it down below but it has blood orange in it and I wanted it's so good it's like it's it's a holiday one but I still think it's perfect for this time of year grapefruits I also like to make my favorite cocktail the greyhound I don't drink too many cocktails but when I want it, I want it. And I do also like to have a half a grapefruit with my breakfast. So I got three of these Nancy's vanilla. That is a, vanilla is a favorite in the family. I got some beeswax candles. They're like $12 for six. They're a little smaller than I was anticipating, but we'll try them out, see how they work. Redmond's Real Salt, first time trying it, never tried it. I was curious. So I got one of those. Apple cider vinegar. We had a, I have, I've made my own and I made like a gallon of my own apple cider vinegar for the first time this year and it turned out really good. But we recently had, one of our pigs was really sick and this turned her around, which is, this one was from Costco, but just like raw apple cider vinegar. So I'm just gonna, this is gonna be something I order on all of my orders just to have a back stock of it because I'm gonna really start putting it into the water she was on death's door, man, and she recovered. I started putting apple cider vinegar in her water, gave her some activated charcoal, and it just turned things around for her. And she's doing quite well, but it took a week's worth of tender love and care to turn that pig around. I love einkorn. If you have never tried einkorn flour, it is super expensive, like super expensive, like 50 pounds for a 10 pound bag. So I ended up getting the einkorn grain berries, which this wasn't too bad. This is only five pounds and that was, I think, one of the biggest sizes I could get. And it's just like a really buttery, I, I heard the term buttery before and I never thought it was, I'm like, how can flour be buttery? Okay, try einkorn and get back to me. I know you can get it at like health food stores, but we're gonna be grinding our own. We got the apple cider vinegar in bulk. Animals I'm gonna start just, we just been putting it in their waters, the cow water, the pig water, just keeps them healthy, you know? To cut back on unnecessary sugars. We're not cutting out sugars. We're just revamping our life to be a little more whole foody. And, and sometimes, sugar is okay and we're a big sauce family i love sauce my kids love sauce and my husband loves he doesn't these are the two main sauces he likes so we got some portland ketchup and portland barbecue sauce my husband is a very very particular with both of these um so we'll see i just got a small amount and you can buy whole, oh, you can buy whole cases this if you buy like the three pack which i did of each there you can get this at walmart in bend for basically the same price as what i did it but i just you can't get the barbecue sauce you can get the ketchup but if you really cut down on the cost when you start buying cases of something it gets cheaper now i will tell you these jars buying gallon jars like this with the lids the lids are separate on azure but the jars themselves like 18 19 dollars for four and then like two to five dollars for the lids so say 22 25 dollars for four gallon jars with lids on Amazon, they're like forty, fifty dollars for this, like for the jar gallon jars with lids. I think that's astronomical and unnecessary. So this is a smoking hot deal for jars. 
So the ketchup and the barbecue sauce, I don't know. We'll see. We're just trying it out. So that's, I think, all we got. You see my two big bags of wheat berries. We're going to be storing a lot of them as well, just in some buckets. And if you put your berries, wheat berries or flour, if you buy in bulk and you keep it in buckets or barrels, if you're, if you got a lot, if you keep it out in your car or in your garage or whatever, and you live somewhere cold and it freezes, it kills off any like living bugs. I actually read a review on Azure site that got these berries. They said, I just got them and I opened, we hadn't opened them in a while and I opened them and there was a bunch of we weevils in there, like little bugs. That can happen. So these are actually going to go out. You can leave them in the trunk of your car, in the back of your truck or wherever for like a few days just to let them freeze. It kills off all those things. I really enjoyed this. I'll do it again. I was nervous about going to pick up. I just pulled up. The truck was already there. They were unloading it, had it in piles for me. I don't know what it's like at other drops. And then you just went and found your name and grabbed your crap. And they even helped me load up my car. It was nice and it was enjoyable and they were friendly and kind. And I will be back. So you got some prices you got to watch. Um, as far as like you, Costco sometimes has a better deal on things or if you're live around in Oregon, Pacific Northwest, uh, Wilk, Winco, oh my gosh, I always get these, Wilk, Winco has a lot of organic and they sell bulk wheat berries and things. Sometimes they're better price. Oh yeah, I ordered rye. One of these bags is rye and one of them is uh, winter red hard wheat berries. Okay, that's good. I was going crazy. Okay, so I ordered two big things of those. The rye, I'm trying, my sister's been working on perfecting the sourdough. Uh, we suck at it. I've just been doing yeast spread, but sourdough is something I'd really like to get into. And Mary's Nest here on YouTube recommends start using rye just for your starter. And then you could use all regular all purpose as you get going. So we got, I got a big thing of rye so we can start grinding that down. I got berries because it lasts longer. They store forever if you do it right. Um, and I'm just really trying to have storage for my family. Also, a cool thing about at least the the red winter wheat is the true whole wheat bread for wheat is what we can actually grow that here in Lapine. So I I have planted some in the fall, a big row of it, and I'm gonna plant some spring when spring red wheat this spring. So. Uh, yeah, anyway, we can grow that, which is nice. So you could plant these as well. And um, I'm not saying I will, <sighs> it'd be really cool one day to be able to grow my family's thing, bread, wheat, but that's a lot of work <laughs> and a lot of land. There it is. That's what I think. I think it's pretty cool. It's inspiring me to get in the kitchen more. Thank you guys so much for following along. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.